There was a rich and smart man who lived in the village. Even though he had plenty of money, he wanted more. So he would lend money to people and add lots of interest to the money he lent. In a nearby village lived a peasant who borrowed from the rich man. He could not pay the enormous amounts of money that the rich man demanded. One day, the rich man traveled to the peasant's house, determined to get his money, or he'd take the peasant's belongings to repay the debt. When the rich man arrived at the peasant's hut, he found a small boy playing there. He asked, Are your parents home? The boy answered, No. The rich man asked, Where are they? My father is cutting down tree, living trees and planting dead ones, and my mother is selling the wind to buy the moon, answered the boy. What are you talking about? asked the rich man. The boy didn't answer and just continued playing. The man grew angry and said, If you tell me where your parents are and what they are doing, I will forget about the money they owe me. The boy said, I don't believe I'll do as you say. Well, the man said, Do you see the flyer in the pole over there? That flyer will be your witness to my promise. Okay, agreed the boy. My father is cutting down bamboo trees to build a fence. My mother is selling fans so she can buy oil for our lamps. The rich man thought the boy was clever, but he still had much to i learn if he believed that a fly could be a witness to an agreement. After a few days, the rich man returned to the peasant's house late in the m evening and found the peasant and his wife home. He demanded his money and the peasant begged for a delay. The boy ran up and said, Father, we don't have to pay this man. He promised us that we he would forget about the money we owe him. Finally, Finally the argument was brought to a mandarin who governed the area. The boy told the mandarin the story exactly as it happened. The rich man denied the whole thing. The mandarin said to the boy, I'm sorry, but we only have your word that this really happened. How do I know that you aren't making up the whole story? Because I have a witness, said the little boy. Who is your witness? It's asked the mandarin. A fly, answered the boy. What do you mean a fly? asked the mandarin. How can a fly be a witness? A fly was thing on the man's nose heard and heard the whole argue, uh, agreement answered the boy. The rich man stood up and yelled, The fly was not on my nose. It was on the house pole. The mandarin laughed along with the boy, his parents, and finally the rich man. The mandarin said, Since you made your promise in front of a fly, I to admit it.